Our second trend is impersonating sites and what we're calling desktop cloaking. Uh, so these pages have been around for a long time, but this new strategy for resisting IP enforcement has come to the fore, this uh, desktop cloaking. Uh, Alexis, could you talk us through this a bit? Yes, definitely. We've seen an increase in this type of impersonation website where the content is completely different on mobile devices and desktop. And the infringing content can only be seen on uh, the mobile phone. Um, so the behavior that we've seen is that we've we've been seeing a lot of this type of website advertised uh, on Instagram, for example, specifically targeting mobile users and the ads that they will put up um, mimic ads of brands themselves. And oftentimes we see too good to be true deals, um, you know, outlet sales, Black Friday sales, hard to get products that they're advertising. And then, um, yes, like as you can see here in the graphic, uh, it's totally different on the what you what you can see on the desktop. Um, and then a lot of times as well, the the domains used will be a a jumbled mix of letters, uh, not really any relevant keywords to the the brands or products themselves. Um, these domains are very cheap to purchase and they're very easy to uh, quickly stand up as well. And this is a method that we're seeing um, seeing these these domain owners use to try to get around enforcement. Um, one thing I will say is, you know, when it comes to enforcement, there are a couple of complexities, but kind of to Martina's point from the previous um, conversation, this is obviously like an evolving um, trend and it's important that, you know, other uh, third parties that are involved in taking down impersonation websites are aware of this because connectors know, right, like that people um, working at brands or even um, the people who are out that are um, at the other end, um, trying to take action against them, platform owners, um, those people um, are checking on desktop. And so to be concealed um, is is pretty easy if it's on mobile. Um, and it, it touches on this idea and this shift that a lot of shopping is being done on mobile and it's going to continue to be done this way um, going forward. 